Well, my friends, we got Drew today. Raiden, come here. You have to see this. I don't know why. Nobody cares. You're old news, my boy. Why, Drew? Why? He doesn't play Fatal Tower. What? What? Why? It's so much better. Oh, no, you do play. Oh, maybe he just... Maybe he was just... I, I interrupted. He's grinding. I'm sorry, Drew. I didn't mean to interrupt. Anyway, he has an insane account. And he wants me to open... Basically, he gave me a choice. I can open Strike Force back or Scarlet back. But... What are we gonna do? Is make a little competition. I see here that you can use pretty much... Both of them, I guess. So we're gonna make a competition between the Strike Force pack and a Scarlet pack. Both of these packs have pretty similar drop chance for amount of souls. I mean, Elite's backup pack has higher drop chance for diamonds, but Scarlet MK11 diamond pack is a bit cheaper. Which pack is better? I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, Elite Spec Up pack is better. And, however, Scarlet MK11 Diamond packs can drop you challenge characters. And Elite Spec Up pack can drop challenge or basic gold cards. So, it's, it's kinda hard to judge which one is better, but we will. We will judge today. We're gonna assign points. Uh, so, uh, Scarlet MK11 Diamond pack. We're gonna spend 10,000 souls on each of these packs. And we're gonna see which packs will provide better results. So the way we're gonna do the scores are... For the basic gold card, it's gonna be one point. For the challenge court, gold card, it's gonna be two points. And for a diamond card, it's gonna be seven points. I think it's fair. Do you think it's fair? I don't know if it's fair. I think it's fair. Okay, let's let let's think. Diamond to gold ratio is like one to ten. Uh, okay, let's make diamond cards ten points. Ten point for diamond, one point for basic gold, and two points for challenge gold. That's my rules. I don't know if it's fair or not. Let me know in the comments if you think it's fair. And if not, then like, what do you think would be fair? We can recount the results. Anyway, let's just spend ten thousand on each pack and compare which pack gets better score. Leave in the comments uh, your opinion, which pack you think is gonna perform better. This is not necessarily an indication of which pack is better because it can be all luck-based, but it's a fun little competition we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the Scarlet MK11 Diamond pack. We're starting at 61.15 souls, so we're gonna spend until we get below this number. Let's go, let's, let's jump right into it. Scarlet MK11 Diamond pack, 10,000 souls, 25 packs starting right now. We're gonna count all the cell backs, doesn't matter. We just need to spend 10,000 souls. All right, we get two points. Scarlet pack gets two points. Let's continue because it's a challenge card. Let's go. Oh, this is fun. We should do these competitions more often. If you guys wanna do a competition like this on your account, Write to my email and tell me which packs you want to do a competition on. Alright, four points so far. Is it fair to have ten, ten points for... I, I think it's fair. Yeah, because like, uh, the middle between two and one and one and a half, which is 15% in a, uh... In the, in, in the other pack, the, the, the spec up pack is 15% is exactly the chance. I don't know, I, I, okay, it's fine. I think it's fair. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. It's fun! So have fun. Six points. Not going good so far for Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack. Oh, I'm gonna commentate like those sports commentators. Scarlet Diamond Pack is currently in the lead. Another two points. Well, we, we're only gonna get two points from here if it's a gold card because they all challenge cards. This is where this pack can actually win just by, uh, like, because we're getting more points per gold card for the most, for the most part. But the other pack has a higher chance to get a diamond card, so it might, 
It might pull ahead. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. This is a crazy video. Leave a like and subscribe. What's gonna be our first diamond of the day? I'm kind of curious. Hope it's gonna be a good one. We still didn't pull a single diamond from Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack, which is sad. Oh my god, what the hell? Seven cards right now, not a single diamond. Well, it's, it makes sense, because the chance to get a diamond only 10%. Alright, wow, that is... that is garbage. 16 points for the pack so far. Come on, we can do better than this. We're almost over... half... half almost halfway done. Okay, skip all, I don't care. Skip all! Dvora! 18 points! It's been a while since we had, uh... Outworld Queen's challenges like Venomous Dvora and Mortful Kitana. Okay, let's get a diamond for, for God's sake. Alright. We got 20 points. 10 packs open, 0 diamonds so far. Ridiculous! 20 points. This pack is performing really poorly right now. I think it might lose. Unless we pull some diamonds. Yeah! I'm killing a scorpion. That's what I'm talking about. Also, the amount of star coins you get in the end of this video is going to be the highest score multiplied. No. Multiply. Okay, the sum of. No, the highest score multiplied by. 10? That's the amount of additional star coins you get, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. We got 10 points, so now this pack is at 30 points. That is fantastic. Beautiful. Scorpion is right here. Alright, five more thousands. So we're halfway done with the pack right now. And we're already at 30 points. That is pretty cool. Alright, we got two points. Boring. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get this pack to 50 points at least. So it can be... A contender. Okay, it will get to 50 points no matter what. So let's get it to 60 points. I need to pull another diamond out of it at least. At least one more. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. This pack is is gonna is it's 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 running forward. It's it's getting the first it's going it's 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 securing its position. It's, it's actually pretty hard to tell because we have no idea how the other pack is going to be. Maybe we'll get zero diamonds out of it. You never know. But so far, this is super lucky for this pack. I think it might win. I think it might win. 46. This is not exactly fair because we're selling some cards, so it's, it's hard to tell. But it's okay. I'm okay with this. 48 points. We're almost at 50 already. We're definitely gonna hit 50. 50 points! That is crazy! That is mind-blowing. The best competition of the century. 50 points! Wow, that is gonna be hard for another pack to compete because we, we're we ranking the basic gold cards as only one point, which is gonna be most of the gold cards from the other pack. Come on. Let's get another diamond. Let's get super ahead. Let's get it. I, 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 I'm actually surprised. I'm going to be very surprised if MK11 Diamond Pack wins. It might be just a lucky day for this pack, but... I guess it's like that in sports. Like, sometimes the luck can be a determining factor. And everything is just frozen right now. Why, game? Why you do this to me? We got Piercing Melina. I'm going to put two points. And I need to restart my phone or something. All right, we're back. This is such an annoying glitch. Anyway, we're back to Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack. So far, has insane amount of points. 54 points. And we're just a few packs away from the finish line. Two more points. We got 50, 56. I don't know, guys. I don't know if, if Elite Spec Up Packs can catch up. We need to pull a, a lot of diamonds in order to catch up to this incredible result. Two more points. We can make it, we're gonna make it to 60 very likely. Very likely. I mean, definitely, we're definitely making it to 60. Two 
two points. We got 60 points right now. And I have one more pack to open. This is one more pack. Actually, no. More more than one. We need. To, we can open a few more packs. All right. We're at 52. We need to finish at 51.15. So, two more packs. Yeah, definitely two more packs. All right, let's see. Let's see if we get another diamond. All right, we got two points. 64 right now. 64 points. Can we get 74 points? Can we break the record? I've never done this before, so there's no record. I don't know what it, why I said that. And... 66 points. All right. Now for the second pack. 51.2 thousand. Starting with zero points. Let's do this. We're getting at least back up back. Can it catch up? Can it get more than 66 points? That is going to be incredible. That is going to be mind blowing. All right. Let the battle begin. Classic Sonya, two points. <sighs> this is so nerve wracking. Balance Kenshi, one point. Come on, Pack, you have to do better than this. If you want to catch up to 66 points, you need to start raking up those diamonds. Two points. Because there's going to be much less of these packs opened. Which means there's going to be less chances to pull diamonds. But hopefully the higher chance is going to make up for it. Alright. Two more points. Let's see. Let's continue the Battle of the Titans. And two more points. So far, I, I it, it looks really, really bad for Elite Spec Ops pack. I think it's gonna be our today's loser, guys. Unfortunately, I was rooting for this pack, but it looks like it's just not its day. Unless... 10 points! It's catching up! Even though it's garbage classic drugs bricks, but it is catching up. It counts as a diamond, it counts as 10 points. Never been so so happy to see Classic Jacks in my pack opening. All right. Oh my god, two absolutely garbage useless cards in a row, but it's 20 points. This pack is catching up fast. Oh my god, this is exciting. Which pack is going to win? 29 points so far. 29, already almost halfway there to catch up to the Scarlet pack. Let's get three diamonds in a row. No, it's undercover Cassie. She, since she's not challenged, I'm gonna count as one point. 30 points. All right, come on pack. All you need to do to win is pretty much just pull three diamonds and you're a winner. Just three diamonds, It's a, that's a lot. That's a lot, you're not gonna pull three diamonds. Let's, let, let's be honest, this pack is, has no chance of winning. Even if we were counting all the challenge, all the basic cards as challenge cards, I think it would still be behind. Yep. 34 points so far. Not going good, not going good. It needs, this pack needs a miracle. We're already halfway done. It needs a miracle to win right now. 35 points. And the miracle, I, I think if we pull two more diamonds, there will be a chance for this pack. But we need two more diamonds, and it's it's going to be very difficult to pull off. But also very possible. Two more points, 37. Slowly, but surely, it's catching up. But it needs two more diamonds to win, otherwise it will be impossible. High-tech jack, you're right. at least we're getting two points per turn. It could be worse, I guess. Come on, come on, I want to see this pack win so much! Come on, let's pull some diamonds! Oh no, well, 41 points. 
And we have very little amounts left to, of souls to spend. We still need two diamonds to win. There is no way to win with just one diamond. So we need two diamonds to win. Classic Sonia. 43 points. Actually, is there a chance to win with one diamond? I don't even know. We'll, it will come to the last points, honestly. If we pull a lot of challenge cards, maybe. Maybe we will need only one diamond. Look at that. Two more points. 45. We are... 21 points behind. Uh, yeah, I don't think... No, there is no way. I'm pretty sure... Or is there? I don't know! I don't know, we're gonna... It's gonna be close. If we get one diamond, it's gonna be very close. If we get two, this pack wins. Can we get two diamonds? Can it Can it pull off a comeback? No, we just got a... We just got a fat one point! That is so sad. This might be the end. God, this is exciting. I need to do this, this kind of video more often, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more pack opening battles like this. We Oh, God, another one pointer. At this point, only two diamonds can save this pack. It needs to pull two diamonds out of the next four packs in order to win. If it doesn't, then it's going to be a fat loss for this elite spec up pack. Oh, this is gonna. This is a close battle. Two points. All right. Mm, we're getting so close. All right, Shirai Takeda gets another two points. It's fifty-one point. <laughs> fifty-one point, guys. There is absolutely no way to win unless we pull two diamonds out of the next two packs. Two more points. <laughs> no, we're losing! Oh my god. Alright. Ah, let's see if this is a diamond. And it is not. This pack has officially lost. But I'm gonna I'm gonna open another pack because technically we're still above 41.2 and we have less chances to sell stuff than in the other pack. So I think it's fair to give this pack another pack a chance. And let's make this interesting. Right now, the, the score is 66 for the Scarlet pack and 55 for the uh, Elite Spec Up pack. Let's make this interesting. If the diamond that we pull out of this pack is Strike Force Scorpion or Strike Force Johnny, one of those two. This pack gets 11 points instead of 10. And then we go to the tiebreaker. But if not, then this pack is going to lose. Johnny or Scorpion, the only two characters that can give this pack a fighting chance. Let's see what's going to happen. way i can't believe it this is the most exciting thing that ever happened in the history of pack openings the strike force pack gets 11 points because 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 i said so and i decided to to give it another chance and now we are at a tiebreaker at 66 points oh my god so how does tiebreaker works we're opening one pack of each until we get a diamond whichever pack gets a diamond first wins let's go let's do a tiebreaker 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 oh my god i hope spec up pack wins i so hope it wins all right scarlet pack gets no diamond what a shame elite spec ups pack gets let's see what we get oh my god this is so fun no diamond okay don't, don't look at me. I think it was fair. I think it was fair, guys, to give that, that pack a chance. Technically, we were one point behind, but I, I set two diamonds. The chance of getting one of those two diamonds was less than 1%, let's be honest. So, the, 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 the chance the, 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 that it happened, it was mind-blowing. And it makes things more interesting. Tiebreaker is more interesting than no tiebreaker, so that's a good content, you know? Alright, let's see. 
Oh, oh. No, no. I mean, yes, I'm killing with Scorpion, but no. If Elite Spec Up Pax doesn't pull a diamond right now, it loses. If we don't pull a diamond right now from this pack, we, this pack is gonna lose. What's gonna happen? Let's find out. Please be a diamond. I want you to win back. Please be a diamond. I really want you to win. There's a notch. And... Ah! See, it didn't matter after all. The fact that I gave it another chance. It's still lost. We're still lost. What a shame. So for today, for now, Scarlet MK11 Diamond Pack will remain a winner. You think you can change that? If you have, uh, let's make it 25,000 souls requirement. If you want to do an epic pack opening battle like this on your own account, you need 25,000 souls, so we can have like 5,000 for a tiebreaker, and, uh... And yeah, just email me and we're gonna do it. This is a lot of fun. I'm 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 glad that I tried this. I enjoy this way more than just the regular pack openings. Anyway, thank you so much, Drew. You were the first one to start a tradition of pack opening battles on this channel. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a wonderful day. Click subscribe not to miss the future pack opening battles. Hopefully we're gonna do a lot of them. And goodbye.